The Anglo Arms 22 inch machete with a saw with a saw on top there. Very similar to the um, Gerber Gator. That's a similar sort of style. That's what made me like it. It's got the rubber grip handle, non-slip. It's got your knuckle guard there. Just idea when you're smashing through stuff, you know, protect your protect your hand and your knuckles. Pointed edge. It's not sharp on top, though it looks like it would be, but it's actually not. Um, I've been using this today, been having a little go at sawing and beating some brass down, a bit of chopping, and it's performed pretty well. I mean, for £20, it is what it is. Like I say, the thing is, we like Anglo Arms, cheap brand, but it, it is what it is for its money, you know. I'm not all about going out buying expensive gear, bashing about in the woods, you know. But yeah, it's, I quite like it. 22 inch, full time. I quite like the handle. I was a bit uncertain when I thought, when I seen it as a saw, I thought I'm not going to be able to use that, but it, it did actually work fine. Right, the sheath. Anglo arms have a thing about doing really crappy sheaths, to be honest. But it's alright, it's a bit tougher than the normal ones to line inside. I don't think you've got to see that. Like with angle arms, I've just got a really flexy sheath where it's not very good. But, um, belt, belt the hoop and you put it on there to hold it in place. So, I, I do like I, the button, does make a difference. There we go, it is what it is for 20 quid. But it worked and it'll do for what I want it for. Um, do check up your knife laws in your in your area, your state, wherever you are. You know, but I'm using this on private land with the owner's permission. So I'm out the way. I've got good reason to have it. But um there we go. Like I say, Anglo Arms Machete 22 inch. I think it's an awesome piece of kit. Um Yep, so thanks for watching guys, remember like, comment and subscribe.